Today on the channel from TNA Deluxe Impact Series 2, we got the Hulkster, we got Hulk Hogan. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Welcome back to the channel for a Jax Deluxe Impact unboxing and review. And today on the channel from Series 2, we got Hulk Hogan. But for all your Hulk Hogan needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. We're no stranger to Jack's figures here on this channel, as we all know out there. But these Deluxe Impact figures, a little bit of a stranger to here. So I don't know if we've ever unboxed one of these here on the channel. And I figured, hey, now's the time. I have this beater Hulk Hogan. It's time to let him breathe, and we can talk about it a little bit right here. Now, we all know Jax, of course, from the years of classic superstars, ruthless aggressions, Titan Tron lives. I mean, R3s, you go on for days all the way back to the bone crunchers. But, of course, when the WWE license went over to Mattel, uh, Jax, unfortunately, left without a home. And who did they do? Or what did they do? Is they paired up with TNA, of course, the second largest promotion in America. Uh, that's fair to say. Uh, at the time. So that's what they did. And, of course, the star power of the Hulkster, Hulkamania running wild over in TNA, Really did help this toy line as well. But the problem was, I, I always felt with Jax's run, was they weren't, uh, obviously not having the WWE machine behind them didn't help things, of course. But then they didn't seem to have quite the distribution as the WWE lines did. Of course, you would still get these at Kmart, Toys R Us, things like that. But they didn't sell as hot. They didn't move as fast. I think that's a pretty fair assessment out there. Hulk Hogan gave it a little bit of a shot in the arm, but I don't know if it was a little too much or a little too little too late, possibly. Uh, and also the changing of the body styles. I mean, they had some really, really terrible figures that you could get at like drugstores and stuff. Then, of course, you had the Legends of the Ring and the Ruthless Aggression style bodies. Then they moved over to the Deluxe Aggression style bodies. So scaling a little bit all over the place. It just never really seemed to fire on all cylinders the way they wanted to and I guess really at the end of the day maybe they didn't have the star power of the WWE and just didn't have the characters people wanted at the end of the day and a little kid if they're buying only one figure if they're only getting one chance at something maybe they're picking up John Cena and they're passing on a Matt Morgan figure maybe that's the hard truth of it right there but let's take a look at the packaging on this one very, very interesting. Of course, we remember the Jax Deluxe Aggression style packaging. Had a much bigger, beefier box. This is more of just a regular carded figure with the beefy figure inside here. And this is, of course, Hulk Hogan. Very interesting packaging. Got TNA Deluxe Impact Series 2 over here at the bottom. Hulk Hogan is named down there. And, of course, you got the Hulk. Hulkster in the six-sided uh, ring kind of uh, packaging going on there. So bringing it all back home to TNA is what they're doing there. On the back, we got a little cross sell going on here. A little interesting cross sell. You got the six sided ring down there, UPC's warnings. Who are we pushing here? Who are we pushing? Of course, you got the Hulkster. You got AJ Styles. You may have heard of him. You got Eric Young and you got Hernandez. Amazing Red and Mick Foley. That Mick Foley, one of the worst Mick Foley figures, if you ask me. Does say as seen on Spike TV. That was always kind of cool, of course, Spike TV. This is from 2010, so that was the first year of the Mattel line, of course. Does say TNA Wrestling. Oh, it's real. Oh, it's real. Okay. Well, let's get down to it. This is going to be an easy unboxing as uh, he is just kind of falling off the card right here. Dirty, beat up packaging. Do not feel bad about opening this one at all. See you later. Goodbye. Get out of here. How about a little plastic prison for the Hulkster? Looking good. Looking like the Hulkster in the Deluxe line. Of course, we never did get a Deluxe Aggression Hulk Hogan figure, so it uh, really kind of blends in with the Jax uh, WWE line if you really needed it to or wanted it to for whatever reason. There you go. See you later. And I shouldn't say we didn't get a Deluxe one. We did in the Classic Superstars, but not a regular modern take. So this is more of a modern take at the time for 2010 for the Hulkster, of course. Let's dive in here. Now, we do get accessories with him. We do get the Hulkster sunglasses in red here with the silver lenses. I'm here for that. Of course, around this time, Hulkster was always wearing uh, cool sunglasses, cool colored sunglasses, of course. 
We do got the Hulkamania uh, weight belt going on. Uh, we've seen these before in the past as well. So nice little adds a little, little extra to this Hulkster figure for sure. Looking good right there. Then we get down to it, we get the Deluxe Aggression style here. And, you know, the Deluxe Aggression figures get a little bit of a bad rap because they're over muscular, which I don't necessarily hate in my action figures, as I really do feel an action figure should be a little bit larger than life. I mean, there is a scale somewhere in there, but I like my wrestling figures to look just a little bit better than they look on TV. That's how I think an action figure should be. And a lot of people were down against these Deluxe Aggressions, but you got to really call it out and you got to really think about it as Mattel of course everybody loves the Mattel Elite line well this was really the forefather of the Elite line as we always do say here on the channel gave us extra articulation a lot of extra posability this was kind of the bridge from the Jax Ruthless Aggression body style to the Mattel Elite style this is the bridge in between so you gotta walk before you run as some may say and you could uh, say hey this is a grandfather to the ultimate line actually at the end of the day as well but of course, articulation on this, the arms do go all the way around. You do get a bicep cut, single jointed elbow, hand back and forth, side to side. You do get waist articulation. You get the ab crunch, head back and forth, side to side, of course. You do get those big old Hulkster splits, uh, just proficient on the balance beam. Uh, the the pummel wheel or something, was that what it was called? Uh, the pummel board? I can't even remember. It's been a long time since I've done gymnastics in PE. Uh, you do get the thigh cut, of course. Double jointed elbows looking good. And then you get the ankles up and down, back and forth. So a lot of articulation on this guy. Of course, no peg holes on these at the end of the day. So uh, good luck getting him to stand just the way you want him to. But definitely good, definitely jacked up, beefed up Hulk Hogan. A little bit skinny in the leg department. Of course, we got the long kind of tie-dye tights here for the Hulkster. Looking nice as usual. Hogan, uh, not too bad here in the yellow and red attack, of course. HH on the boots with the flames going on, looking nice. Got Hulk Hogan wrist tape going on in yellow with his name. I do got some extra paint, some extra black paint on the inside of the forearm. Not sure exactly what that's about, but it does got the Hulkster's tattoo there on his forearm, which just seems weird to think of Hulk Hogan with tattoos. Maybe it's just me. You just remember him uh, all of his years wrestling without tattoos. Then at the end of his career, he's got tattoos on his back, on his forearms. It just seems crazy to me. It just seems crazy. I don't know. Whatever it is. But interesting Hulkster head here. I think there is no denying you hand this head to anybody. Who is this? You know it's Hulk Hogan. Got the bandana sculpted in there as well. Yellow hair coming out the end. Uh, big bushy yellow mustache going on. The nice blue eyes on the Hulkster. Uh, no issues with this Hulkster head sculpt, of course. Does the, does the uh, sunglasses fit on him, though? That's always a trouble... Oh my gosh, they don't really fit. I think you got to actually kind of bend them into place and maybe even put a rubber band around them or something. But definitely tight. Yeah, they kind of just want to pop off. So that's unfortunate. They should just pop right in. So that's one of those that's so jacks things, I guess you could say. But oh, there we go. You just kind of got to force it and hold it into place a little bit, kind of mold it and squeeze it onto his head. You'll eventually get it fitting right. There you go. does look a little strange, though, I will admit, especially... Uh, I don't know. It just look a little small for his head. They don't fit the best, but it is what it is at the end of the day. Of course, we've seen this before, like we talked about. An interesting figure, no doubt about it. A very big figure. It's not a figure that's going to scale with your Mattel Elites or anything like that. Uh, just not going to be in the cards there. But very, very cool. I did enjoy the TNA stuff. Uh, many years after the fact is when I went back and I bought the majority of these Deluxe Impacts. I think I'm only missing a couple of them. I'm missing... Uh, was it Magnus? I think there's one Magnus that's worth more than the other or harder to find than the other. I think I'm missing that. I might be missing one Hernandez. And I think that's the only two figures I'm missing from this entire set. One of these days I'm going to get around to getting those done. I might be missing a Velvet Sky too, maybe in purple or something. But there's just a handful I'm missing. It's been a slow burn on that one. It will continue to be a slow burn on that one as I try to complete that set eventually here on the channel. We'll see what happens there. But the Hulkster is what it is for a 2010 Hulk Hogan figure. Uh, and a toy line that doesn't get talked about very often, of course, and maybe within reason, who knows. But Deluxe Impact Series 2 TNA Hulk Hogan here today on the channel. But what are your guys' thoughts? You ever pick up any of those Deluxe Impacts back in the day? Were you all in, all out? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day, and we got even more content, including early access to videos like this on the Patreon channel. Of course, Patreon, your best way to support this very YouTube channel. You can also support the channel over at WrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson, and don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Hulk Hogan, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.